came out today. I'm uh, starting a new game, and I thought I would uh, thought I would do a um, little live stream. Um, so yeah, I, I, literally first time I've just booted it up. Um, gonna give it a go. Uh, this came out today, I believe, developed by Blue Twelve Studios. Um, I don't really know much more about it, to be honest. I I, I saw a trailer like must have been a year ago or two uh, of uh, this cat roaming the streets of this sort of futuristic looking uh, dystopian sort of city and I thought that looks pretty cool so yeah I uh, I, get, I I picked it up today and we're gonna give it a go um, as I said I have no idea what it's about I know I know it's got a cat in it and I know it has like robots and things but apart from that <laughs> I'm not too sure um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I don't know if the cat has a name or not. I'm not sure. Oh wow! Oh, here we are. Is this is this a boy or a girl cat? I'm not sure. It's a nice sort of sort of tabby, sort of ginger, brown and ginger. Huh. Uh, is this his little family or something? I'm not sure what's going on here. Some kind of grooming and uh, this is my new cat friend um, <laughs> can I jump what's around here access control okay I wonder if I can speak to all of these little guys probably can gosh I love the atmosphere it's um it's very cool isn't it I like the minimal minimal hud Okay, so where do we go from here is the question. I wonder if I can Okay. Maybe if I sleep with these guys as well. It looks like a good idea. When it's raining outside you all you want to do is uh sort of go to sleep really, don't you? I think cats just sleep sleep most of the time, don't they? I think. So yeah, I mean, I wonder if these guys are your your family or your you know brothers and sisters or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think what kind of game this. I'm actually weirdly I'm getting some sort of um, Last Guardian vibes from this. Um, maybe that's. Maybe I'm just thinking of because of the, the sort of dog cat like creature in that game but it's this kind of amazing this amazing scenery and this sort of the greenery and the and the kind of overgrown stuff is um sort of mixed with maybe a bit of a bit of the last of us maybe okay so we got that from our our little nest which is up way up there somewhere and we're, um, oh, there's a little black cat. Huh. Okay, so I'm walking around. If I hold R2, I can run. Haven't figured out how to jump yet. Oh, okay, that focuses. Well, that's interesting. Oh, there's a little ladder up there. Can I, can I climb this? No. Oh, I can interact with this, though. X. Oh, interesting, okay. Can I jump down onto that? Ah, so okay, so you can actually only jump to places when uh, when prompted. So 
there's no actual uh, jump button, it doesn't seem. It's, you can only jump when you're prompted to jump by the game, which is an interesting um, take. Press circle to meow. Oh, meow. <laughs> I wonder how many um, lines of cat meowing they have had, had to record um, for this game. Interesting. Oh, very cool. Ah, uh, we're going to have a scratch on the tree. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, that's enough of that, kitty cat. I know you like to scratch on trees, but... Um, I'm sure you've got a... More of an adventure coming up than scratching on trees. Can I go up here? Yes. I wonder if you always start off as the, the same cat. Oh, what was that? Nice little drink. It's thirsty all this thirsty work all this uh, this cat business, I have to say. So I, I read that the the premise for the story is that um a, a little bit like that uh, that Netflix show, um, what is it, Love, Love, Death, and Robots, where you know the, the the episode with the with the robots who are going around and all the humans have died, and there's cats left. I think it's pretty much like that that there's only robots left and uh, and cats, which is a very well, you know, I mean, if any if any animal was going to survive, it probably would be cats, wouldn't it? Really, I mean, they're pretty pretty clever beasties. Um, I like that my my fellow my fellow brethren are with me along the way. <laughs> wow, doesn't that look gorgeous? Look at that, fantastic. Right. Oh, gotta climb up here. I love how cats always choose the the most sort of obscure way to travel. I mean. You know, I could travel along the floor, but why, why do that when I can obviously just um, travel along this this uh, railing here? Hold, hold to chain jumps. Okay. Can I jump onto that? No, jump down. Hold to chain jumps. Okay, hold. See, it's very fluid. Do you know what's really nice as well is the fact that because you can only jump when prompted, it's sort of it's eliminated that kind of annoyance of, of being a platformer where there might be a slight chance to fall off and die sort of thing. Like it's kind of, it's more of more of a kind of uh, artistic platformer in a sense where you kind of wonder like, I mean, I mean this game kind of shows that kind of um, that sort of blur between what, what is a game and, and what is uh, is art essentially. But I mean a game is art but this is like like a story game, I suppose, um, which is lovely. Sometimes it's really nice to play something something like this. Uh, to be honest, so you're just gonna yeah, it's really cool. It's it's lovely and seamless. To be honest with you, like the the whole the whole thing of the movement and the jumping and yeah, this looks like some kind of to observe. What am I observing here? Oh, okay. My little friend coming as well. I oh, see. I wonder if you can go. I wonder if there's multiple ways to go and do things. I, you know, I don't know. But um... oh, looks like a bit of bit of danger's coming up. Is this, is this going to give way? I'm not liking. The, I'm not liking the looks of this. Oh no! I saw that coming a mile off. But it's okay. Cats always land on their feet, right? Oh no! Oh gosh! Oh, <laughs> no, don't, don't die, kitty cat. Fly, you fools! <laughs> that was a bit like uh, old Gandalf, wasn't it? Really? Uh, oh no! This is this has gone from a really nice, 
little gentle stroll to a very traumatic experience. I've ended up in the uh, in the sewers, I think. Oh gosh, I have. I can actually I can meow still. Oh, okay. Where did we end up? Oh, I don't like this place as much. This is um. Oh no, and I'm limping. Oh, that's sad. Poor old kitty cat. You're looking a bit rough, buddy. Is this where I fell down from? See, I can't run anymore. I've been, uh, I've been injured. Are they up there? Gosh, that was a long old way, wasn't it? God, I hope there's nothing going to eat me down here. Oh, oh, did I die? This isn't good. I look like I had a broken leg, and I've just become unconscious. So. And that bag looks like it's moving. That's not nice. God, isn't, isn't, aren't the aesthetics and the, the design are just very, very crisp, aren't they? The water sort of trickling away in the background. And Oh, do you see those little bugs? Are they bugs? I wasn't really sure what they were, but... It looked like something interesting. That's it. Give it a lick. See, cat just licks its limbs and it and it fixes it right away. <laughs> Although I still can't actually run at the moment. Oh no! Oh, we're getting better. We're going to spring into action. There we go. Okay, we're okay. He was just joking. I mean, I still don't actually know if this cat is a he or a she. Not that it particularly matters, but I'd like to know so I refer to him or she. Can we? No, I mean I don't want to get into <laughs> get into time trying to have a look, but <laughs> um, wow, look at this dead city. Hmm, getting some getting some cyberpunk vibes off this place. Oh, they look like horrible little robots. Did they scurry away somewhere? Where did they go? They went. Uh... Wow! Look at this place. They went in here somewhere, but I wonder if can you get up here as well? No, it's probably just this way, isn't it? Oh, hello, camera. <laughs> that camera is. I don't trust that camera. He's watching us too much. Oh, gosh! You can, you can, you can sort of. Go to a lot of places, can't you? What was up here? I was sort of trying to jump onto this, but there you go. Ah, so they've got um, spikes on them to stop cats like me and birds, presumably, from settling on these things. Is there any way I can go from here? No. Okay. Oh, no, she's back down probably. There's another one of those pesky. Pesky things. Oh look, there's a. Oh gosh, there's a robot. He looks like he's had, or it has had better days. I don't, again, I don't know. <laughs> don't know how to name these these creatures and beings, but that thing looked particularly dead. But can a robot really die? That's the question. I suppose if it has consciousness, but that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother story, isn't it, really? Can I jump over to here? Again, there was one of those cameras up there watching me. 
See, I, I'm just wondering about these extra places because you never know if there might be some kind of hidden uh, hidden secrets about or or whatnot. Maybe not. Maybe not in this early stage of the game, but wow! Here we go through the. You know, you you always wonder like what what cats get up to and. Uh, this is a really nice, um, follow me. Okay, interesting. Yeah, the, the lighting and the, the atmosphere is just very well done. I mean, it's, it's, um, you know, I feel like I'm in this pretty grungy looking, uh, environment. Not many games sort of give you that feeling, actually. It's, um, Quite impressive, really. Does the cat, did the cat get wet? Is it? Did it? Did that happen? Let's let's have a look. Actually, I want to see that. Yeah. No. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> that might have been a step too far. Right. Hmm. Don't think I can get through that. Is there any other way I can go? I don't know. Oh. No, okay. Is there anywhere else I can get to? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Okay, I see what's going on here. The old putting the bucket in the uh, in the fan scenario. Nice. Right, okay. Some more paint buckets here. Um, not sure what they're for just yet. Um, <laughs> that is such a cat thing, isn't it? Just let's just push, push, push crap off the uh, off the edge because we can. <laughs> Uh, I've actually le legit seen a cat, like cats do this in real life, of just pushing stuff off the edge because they feel like it. I mean, that is, that's hilarious, to be honest. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I'm thinking I have to do it in order to get down here, but did I really need to do that? Probably not. How do we get down here? Can I get up there? It's gonna smash the window. Come on, one more. Oh god, I'm a vandal now. I'm a wanted criminal. Property damage and everything. Good god. This cat is a wanted, wanted feline. Okay, we're in someone's room now. That's we, we've, we've covered in paint. So good luck to anyone. Wanting to come back to their room and uh, have a nice rest because they can't because it's covered in paint. Oh, and also I leave footprints. That is, this is game of the year. Game of the year right there. The fact that I go in blue paint and then I put blue, um, like uh, claw marks or, or uh, footprints <laughs> on the carpet, and I'm also going to scratch the carpet. There is no stopping this cat from destroying this person's room. <laughs> that is just this cat is mean evil cat look I can go on this bed and everything gosh how funny I mean there's no there's no re I mean this room is I mean yeah well I'm sorry whoever's room this is because I'm just scratching away and getting paints everywhere apparently 
Why do cats do this? Does anyone know why cats scratch things? Is it is it to sort of just does it is it feel nice to them or something? Does it make their claws feel nice? I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, I just know that they like to do it, but Oh, they're thirsty. Well, they already have a leak here. And their fridge is open, so actually it doesn't really look like these people are here. So it's all boarded up. Okay, that makes me feel slightly better that I don't think anyone actually lives here. So that was a lucky break. But the cat didn't know that, so I'm just going to hope you all bear that in mind. The cat didn't know that people didn't live here, so... Hmm. Huh. Going down. It's very interesting uh, style choices, aren't they, in this game? Okay. I really like those little creatures. They're pretty cool, aren't they? Hmm. There they are again. It's very strange that they seem to be um, surrounding these sort of dead robots, which is a bit unnerving, really. Oh, gosh. This one's alive. Hello. Oh. Hmm. Well... That was very short-lived. I thought we might have a new friend there, but no. I'm trying to get up there, presumably. I mean, I've sort of guessed by now they're using these this blue um, on these uh, sort of fuse boxes or whatever they are to uh, indicate the direction of, of travel, which is nice when they do that in games, because it's kind of like a... As I said, this, this game has very limited HUD, but... It's using environmental directions, which is, um, I always like that in games. I always think it's really, really well done. It's lovely. Do you know what? That's amazing as well. When you look at this light, it creates that kind of buzzing effect that you get with those sort of lights, um, which is, again, very cool. <clears throat> Oh gosh. Mm -mm. Don't like the look of them. Oh, okay. Run. <laughs> oh god, they're trying to get after me. Oh, horrible little things. They're like um like little ticks or something. They... Oh my oh no. Oh my god, get off. Do not like these things. They look like they belong in um, uh, Half Life or something. They're like the the you know the things that jump on you and try and eat you. Oh, should I have gone up there? Oh gosh, no! Oh, oh they're trying to. They are trying to do something nasty to me. I don't like them at all. They are horrible. Oh. Can we get up there? Oh no, jump. Okay, phew. That was... Oh, I didn't like those things at all. They were they were nasty things, weren't they? Yeah, scratch them off. Well done. Well done, kitty cat. Yeah. Ha, huh, that's very cool. I still don't know the name for this uh, this fellow. Or this, or this girl. I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe it doesn't have a name. Maybe I could give it a name. I'm not going to though, because I don't want to give it something wrong or ill-fitting for the for, for what it is. That's very cool. Let's see when I meow, it affects the sign. This 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 game so far has has been an absolute wonder in um in terms of the direction like um 
level design and, and, and direction is um, it's fantastic. Can we get down onto here? As I said, I'm very glad they decided to go with not a sort of traditional platformer, but a more of a sort of hands-on, friendly type of um, type of approach. Um, I mean, I assume I'm going yeah this way. I'm gonna go over there, so I could probably get down here. Oh, okay, or go up there. Did I just come from up here, or did I imagine that? Hmm. So, I mean, so far we haven't actually seen any people, but I know there aren't people because I know there are robots, but. We haven't seen any people robots yet. Hopefully we might see some in a minute. I don't know. Okay, so how do we get up? Uh, jump on here. So it's telling us to go. Ah, I wonder if I can. Hold on, I wonder if I can push this. Can I? Yes. <laughs> That's very cool. Look, I'm getting so excited about rolling a barrel, but <laughs> it's honestly, it's a very cool. Um, like, imagine all these design choices of of. You're a cat, so how many things can you, can you actually, you know, physically do as a small cat? It's quite interesting, isn't it? Really. We kind of want to head in that uh, all the lo this looming crane over us. Very misty sort of environment, isn't it? And can we get down here? Another camera. Oh, hello, camera. <laughs> it seems. I think the camera. I have a feeling the camera is a good a good guy or a good camera. I don't think it's a bad camera. I've got, a, you know, it just it looked like it just waved at us slightly. If you can do that as a camera. Oh. Oh, that was that was close. I thought I was I mean, I don't actually know if you can uh if you can actually die in this game or not. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but I'd rather not find out because, you know, this poor little cat. I'm not sure I want to get rid of him just yet because he's quite a quite a cool little cat. Okay. Can I get rid of this? Oh. 